All right, guys. So uh, finally got out of work on Friday. Uh, pretty pumped. It's just been a long, stressful week. Um, so yeah, I'm actually gonna try to go a little bit more in depth with my videos now. Um, lately, I've been like, yeah, there's just been so much going on that I've been kind of just kind of going all over the place with everything. Um, so I'm gonna try to make a more lengthy. Uh, you know what I mean, give you guys more of a in the day, in the light, like, in the day of the life of Jeremy kind of thing, so, um, but yeah, no, I'm basically, I'm just trying to get some more footage for you guys, uh, for you guys to enjoy, to get you through the work week and whatever, um, like I said, sometimes my work week sucks, so, uh, maybe I could help you guys out, it'd be pretty cool, so, uh, lately, I've been working on, uh, my list for Club Loose, so Club Loose is an event on April 20. 9th and 30th or 28th 29th um either of those two of those days for the weekend um it's gonna be new hampshire motor speedway uh so i'm trying to go um so i've been making a prep list so this is the prep list of like everything i'm gonna bring uh for staying over because you actually get to camp out um at the track so that's pretty sweet so that's that list and uh basically the car list of getting everything that i'm gonna need for the car um for those two days i have made another list at work also um with my spare time and i actually think i left it there so i'm pretty rattled because i gotta go back and get that um so i don't forget anything but i got some toys in this past week so i got a uh energy shift knob um gold plated to for the show car uh for the daily um clearly this is the old one it's all ripped up and beat up but uh, if you guys want to see the part number, I'll show it to you when I get in the car. And I'm going to have an install video on it for you guys too. So that'll be coming up real soon. But uh, it says white, but it's gold plated. Uh, it looks pretty sweet. It matches exactly the grip royal wheel that I got. Um, Z1, I got my diff bushings. So I wonder if you guys know what's going to happen here. Uh, front and rear diff bushings. Then I got uh, a new... Um, coolant adapter so for the actual i've been running my coolant adapter from pro sports it actually was the uh i've been running on the lower hose and the lower hose is actually it, it's not reading right because the fact that um we need to put it on the upper hose but it's too fat to fit on the upper hose so um i had to order this from z1 18 bucks um so yeah you just basically put your sender in there and uh, the two hoses hook up on each side, and then you're good. Um, for the so remember for Z32s, you want it this on the top hose because it's putting it um, the coolant into the engine, so uh, coming straight from the uh, radiator, so you get a more accurate reading. So got that. That uh, they hooked me up with some more stickers. Thanks Z1 per usual, and uh, shifter bushings for the daily because my rubber ones are shot and it's like loosey goosey and i put these on uh, in the drift car and it is such a freaking difference the best 16 dollars you can spend right here swear on everything i love so that's that and then got something else pretty sweet to show you guys so that's coming let's stick that in there that's going i'm already all packed up ready for the weekend we got so much work that i want to do i got to the tech list for Club Loose is insane, so, but I got my harness bar in, um, all powder coated. It was from uh, Cypher, uh, the company's right here if you guys want to see it. Um, I did a lot of research on the harness bar, and I this is just temporary. I want you guys to know that it's just temporary, but um, this is the company that I got it from. Um, I ordered it strictly through the comp or Redline Auto, I think it was, Redline Performance or something like that. I can get you guys the... Uh, link in the description uh, but this is where I got it from um, it looks really good and it doesn't look cheap uh, that was the main thing that I had or, or I was pretty nervous about because like NRG sells one you know and all these other companies sell one and uh, from the guys that I've talked to through the forums and stuff they said that this one um, not being a specific roll cage harness bar um, they would go with this one so I went with it uh, I think it was like, it was close to 200 bucks. Um, but I went with it. We're going to put that bitch in and finally put my harness in. Like out of the whole entire car, my favorite, my favorite things are the coilovers, the wheels, the seat and the freaking harness. And that's all I want to do is just put that in. So, um, but yeah, and also we're going to run to Harbor Freight. I got a couple of uh, coupons here. 
that I'm pretty pumped about. Um, we're gonna grab a jack, and uh, we're gonna grab a car canopy, since uh, I thought I was gonna be able to use my dad's garage, and it turned around for him not to let me, so I'm gonna be getting that moth this weekend. So it's better than nothing, you know what I mean? Put it in the driveway, be able to work on it and enjoy it. And I don't really have to worry about the width of it because the doors go up. So it's perfect. So, but yeah. So, all right, guys, I'm going to finish packing up. Um, I'm going to grab my stuff. And, yeah, so that's about it. So check you guys. All right, guys. Uh, so as I said before, I got here. Uh, I got the car all put up. Um, yeah, so harness bar install. Basically it gives you the harness bar, the support bars, and then all the hardware. So you got some spacers, some washers, three different sizes, two different sizes of nuts, and then uh, four different sizes of bolts. So uh, basically, um, as I've seen in some of the videos, um, there's not really any for Z32, so awesome for me I can do a first <laughs> per usual sometimes I guess right um, so I'm thinking that the bolts need to go here um, because a lot of people have been showing them up here but I don't have a seat belt as you guys know the seat belts are on the door um, on the doors for Z32 as I'll show you guys real quick obviously I mean this is a no matter what this is gonna be on the door so you see the bottom of the seatbelt's down here, and the top of the seatbelt's up there. So that's for the front. Other cars, they have them down here and up here. Like up here on the piece, up there. But all I can think of is using these for the rear uh, seatbelts. So I don't know. I'm gonna have to check it out, and then Sado! these. Sado! <laughs> Holy sh wait, who's that guy right there? Sado! Who is that guy? Yo, I don't know you. No, I don't know you. Get out of here! I don't know you. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, so that's what we're trying to figure out right now. So Julian's here. He he might have some ideas. Fred, it's okay, Fred. I literally, uh, when I looked for a harness bar, I was just looking for a universal <laughs> harness bar just so I could get the harness in. It was the cipher. It's it literally said 90 to 96 Nissan 300 ZX 2 plus 2 model, um, whatever. Like I mean, like universal. So I obviously I knew that we were gonna have to do some kind of jip, jimmy it up. You know what I mean? But we had to more than Jimmy fab this bitch thus so, far. So first, let's let's explain so, to them where they wanted us. Oh, well, not let's not do the light, right? Yeah. The light blinding. And yeah, right here, right. That's good. Right. That's good. So how they how they do it with their video? They install it on a fucking DC2 fucking Integra. That's first of all, <laughs> out of all fucking cars, fucking Integra, bro. So <laughs> that that just explains how good their fucking bar is. Two. They install it to where the seat belt, the what is it called? The top of the fucking seat belt part was it? The it's just the seat belt, yeah. like oh, the the, the, the pass the, this part right here, passenger side seat belt. Yeah, but you know with the the actual Integra and the regular cars, it's up the here. Seat belt harness, yeah, it attaches right there. Now with the Z's, they're attached to the actual door. Door, so up there. There's the door. So if we were to attach it to the door, we wouldn't be able to open the fucking doors, point blank, period. So that's just out of the picture. And since they don't put any instructions, basically we had to basically use our minds. For jimmy it up. And jimmy this fucking shit up. <laughs> so basically. So uh, we use the passenger top part. For the seat belts. For the seat belts. The seat belts attached in the top part for the back seats. Yep. Basically you remove them. You put the bolt in. Now. You want to attach these yep. onto it first. So attach the, this the harness bar yep. right here, and then it comes with these pieces not attached to it. So what you want to do first is attach the harness bar to these pieces and screw them in first, and then slowly, um, slowly screw this in a little bit, and then slowly screw that side in a little bit, like 50-50 each way, keep going back and forth, and then what it'll do 
Also, with these, you don't just hand tighten them at first. Oh, hold on. Fire pit. I have have like a, just a pit in the. Yeah. But back to back to what we were saying. All right, back to what we were saying. Um, so make sure before, that these are tight. Before you want to tighten these down, hand tighten these just because it actually has play back and forth a very tiny bit. So basically, it's it's gonna have to go all the way to the farther side backwards. I'm just sounding yeah. so so retarded on that one. <laughs> Anyways, basically hand tighten that first. Then, like Jeremy said, tighten the tops. Go back and forth, 50-50, until they're fully tightened. It will bend this metal. Tightening this down because it won't be flush with the actual body at first. So as you're tightening, it'll actually start to get more flush to the body, and it'll cause the bend in the hinge, and basically it sets it to where how we have it now. Since you know they can't fucking give us instructions of how to do it for a fucking Z, and you know there are no instructions. YouTube doesn't have now one. Nobody's out there. No, none of y'all niggas have done a harness bar video. Why? Why, bro? What the fuck? Because no one's this dumb. Nobody, yeah, no bullshit. No one wants Everybody this piece knew. of shit. Everybody knew. Yeah, they're, they're like, like no, this, this ain't gonna work. work. This, this ain't work. gonna be universal for a two plus two yeah, or a Z at, in general. Shit. But um, yeah. So as you can see, I'm like pulling on this with all my might right now, and it's not going anywhere. Um, so now, so now we're working on the support bars, and the support bars not even in, and this bitch is not going anywhere. So that's good. So now the support bars. So technically, we actually had to put this backwards. Yeah, we had to put this backwards. This is this. Yeah, we This part is actually supposed to be around the seat. But you that's guys should know that by now. Yeah. So, but this is on backwards. So this would fix. Now the support bar. What we're gonna actually do is we're gonna weld another one from here to here we're gonna weld one just to have it against the body um so that's that one and then this one basically what you're gonna do is you got to make sure it's on the outside okay outside no matter what it's always said it's on the outside so on the outside you're gonna follow it down the body okay so follow it down the body I'm gonna try to get out of the way here for the light so you guys can see follow it down the body and then you're gonna drill some holes. So the first hole, um, the first hole kind of sucks because it's kind of hard. I cannot show you guys, but we stuck our whole hand through here. There's another little circle, like there's another little circle it's inside the middle. It's basically like right here on this part of like the yep. body, but on the inner side. Yep. So basically, you have to put your like like two, three fingers, you know, you know finger this shit. And <laughs> basically, slide that shit in there. To basically where we put the first hole, but it would be too difficult to actually get the, to nut, get the nut back on, there yeah. and actually get it on. So we just so then we did notice that there's actually a pre-drilled hole that it looks like it would go for an aftermarket uh help me out here. Aftermarket support bar. Support bar, but it doesn't reach. These threads are not long enough. Yeah, they max out then. They max out. Up. So we screwed them back in, and I just all I did is drilled a little bit farther of a hole where the, you don't have to go through that second layer of metal. So I did it right in between the middle of them. That'd be perfect if you guys want. And yeah, so and I, my not, drill died obviously. So yeah. we're still working on it, but this is gonna be perfect. I can I can touch this hole. I can touch this hole. Yeah, on the I can other touch side. a lot of holes. I'm pretty good at that, but <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> but on the other side of basically this part of your body. On the inner side, like we were telling, to get to this hole, you have to go through that little inner hole on the other side. Yeah. For this hole, that was the first hole I drilled. You don't actually have to go into that inner hole at all. You actually just go just Directly follow, back. just like how smooth it is on this side is the other side. You just follow it straight back until you get to that hole. Yeah. So, so now we match we match it up. The screw's gonna go in there, no problem. Bang, just like that. And it's gonna screw into the body. We have a washer and then a lock nut on the other side of that. And then you don't have to worry about because you know. Oh yeah. So it's, now it's for, not set up for tech. Properly. Yeah. So for tech now, you guys, what for, I'm worried about is that if tech, tech sees this, they're not gonna be about it. Because but technically, the support bar is not really positioned where it's supposed to be yeah. or how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be positioned literally reversed. Yeah. So but, that all the weight is on top of the yeah. on top of the support but bar. But the way that the Z two plus two is set up, they actually have this little nifty reinforced bar right yep. here and it this just so happens to actually sit onto it right behind it well not sit 100 percent flush but if this was to ever give out it's gonna hit onto this bar and this is going nowhere yeah so basically we should be good we're hoping yeah. it's gonna be good 
Yep. If not, we're just gonna have to rip it out if tech tells us something. Yeah. And I still have the regular seatbelt too, as so. you can see. But I'm just saying for right now, I mean we're we had to jimmy. Yeah, we're gonna try to get away with it. We jimmied it up as much as possible. So we're gonna see. It still, it still sits 45 degrees yep. lower. No, 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 or, not 45. Not for, 90 degrees or lower, right? Yeah, no, no, it's 10 to 45 degrees. <laughs> so FIA standards is for a drift car but is you need to have it. If you look at it from back here, it looks like fucking it's it's six where it's to. So here's the directions, guys, for your the harness. So you guys know. So it's got to be you measured at 90, and then it either can be 10. It's between 10 and 45 degrees. That's where they want it. See? Nothing below a uh, 45 degrees angle. And if you look at that, 90 is straight across like this. That's 90. So we're good. Right below? Yep. And like I said, Jim, come back here. If you look at it from back here, it actually looks like it's just sitting where it's supposed to sit. Yeah. yeah. That looks great. Oh yeah, for sure. The only for thing I just Jimmy the shit. The what, what? Yeah, for us to Jimmy this bullshit fucking sucks. But if anything, I would be feel more safer if uh, we could find out another way to basically just drill a hole through and drill another screw through there, put a spacer. Yeah. So. I'm saying so to flush this out. I'm saying maybe if we get like a spacer. And then get another screw, and then just uh, what's it called? Tap it like tap right it there. right there, yeah. Somewhere on there. Yep, just to get it a little bit more tighter, and or, I think that would be pretty legit. Or we we could do just like a tack weld up here. Yeah. Simple. Nah, that's dude. That's not. Nah. We would definitely need something else. I'm I'm definitely feeling like all we would have to do is get a spacer, put another bolt right there, right in the middle. And we're Gucci, dude. Fuck out of this. Dude on both sides. We'd have to, we'd have to do it to where we wouldn't. No, no, no. Spacer, no. The spacer don't. The spacer won't have it. The spacer's there, so you won't bend it. Spacer fits in there, and then you just put the screw in. Are we gonna tighten. fucking get the cheap aluminum spacer so that we can actually bend them so that actually that shape exactly so it feels actually so, perfect. so yeah, so I mean we have it mocked up right now to exactly where we want it, so that can happen later on. Like that's not even that big of a deal. No. So that's what we're doing right now. All right, guys. So we're out here, fucking freezing. It's cold as fuck. <laughs> it, it was warm all day. Shorts. <laughs> it was warm all day, but it's almost midnight. Um, so this is what we've gotten to thus far. Six hours later. Six hours later. No joke. So, that's what we've gotten to thus far. Okay. So for the harness bar, um, this shit is no joke, Jimmy. So much. It's ridiculous, um, but yeah. So this is what we did. Took the bar out of the box. Took the bar out of the box. Um, we went through everything. Um, basically, we had to run this backwards. Um, so I highly recommend don't buy this bar for this car. Um, if you're gonna, I mean, if you want to do it like us, then you're good. I mean, it was 150 bucks, but. Yeah, it's not the most precise, and I, I would say probably not safe. Not to spec. Yeah, it's definitely not to spec, so we're going to need to uh, go over a few things, but this is how we did it, at least if you do buy a uh, uh, Cypher harness bar, this is how you would do it for a Z32. So, first things first, you're going to grab the bar, the legit harness bar, you're going to grab this screw, type of screw. Because we didn't know what Allen screw it was. Key. It's Allen the Allen key keys. Plug. It's the Allen key ones. Allen key ones. And you attach the plates to the bar. With that, the Allen key. That's going to be the first step. first step. First step. Do that. Second step. Get your OEM hardware from your old uh, seat belts. You might need two people for this. Yeah, yeah. You might need. You, 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 you might be able to pull it off with one. Yeah. But it's we, way easier with two people. Yeah, we got it done easier. like in a couple minutes. So... Uh, OEM hardware, OEM hardware from the old seat uh, seat belts for the two plus two in the back. That's where these holes are. Um, all you do is you're gonna put this in about like half threads in and half threads in, and then you're just gonna go keep going back and forth, do a couple turns, do a couple turns, make sure that it's even, and then it's gonna look like this. What you're basically doing, going back and forth, tightening it, the 
this piece right here when you guys get it you open it out of the box it's actually flat so it doesn't sit flush with the actual body how we wanted it to so basically what you're going to do tightening back and forth causes you to bend the you metal see so the you bend can actually metal. bend it to the shape of the car yeah so like i said jimmy work like we've been saying but <laughs> I mean, it works. Yep. It, I mean, it, it does, does work. It is fucking solid. This thing is fucking solid, guys. This shit ain't going nowhere. So, um, obviously, with impact, we don't know, and hopefully, I'll never have to know. Yeah, hopefully. But um, have, have what, work, what I am going to do um, is definitely get a spacer, though, uh, a proper spacer that's going to fit this and put another screw in just to double it up. I mean, just for safety. Um, but that's for this for right now, anyways. Like I said, we're trying to do roll cage, so this is just more show. Honestly, it's more for show. But I'm trying to be able to use it for club loose coming up. So we'll see. Um, so yeah, after doing that, second part, you grab, uh, it's the smaller heads. You grab the smaller heads and bolt them in. The skinnier ones. The skinnier skinnier bolts and uh, skinnier, like to be able to fit through the, hardware that the eye hole. The, um, the cipher harness bar. So that's that small bolt, small, uh, nut and then the small hole the eye hole so then what you're gonna do is tighten those in tighten that in and then this is the this bitch is the fab. so we'll this is the yeah this is the fab part so fab life. this is what this you definitely need at least two people doing to like hold stuff back and hold everything it, it just it's really shitty situation but okay we did just learn something also um so the bridge moto at least the bridge moto stuff that uh comes with the harnesses Separately the, the ordered, hardware this not is cypher yeah not, not cypher, cypher shit. bridge ordered. fucking moto whole different um, brand this it fits right in to wherever your seat belts were going so it's in with that welded nut in the back so this is used to be where the other seat belt went all plug and play so just right in bolted in bang bolted in bang so that's those two but now we didn't. We didn't think that we would have to use this. We didn't. We didn't know that. That's where the fucking but, seat belt would actually yeah, go. But that's where my seat belt is gonna go for this side, for this side part, right here. That goes, and that will bolt in. Bolt right here. That will bolt in right there. But the fact of the matter is, we put that this way too close. So, um, that's that for now. But. Putting this in, what you're gonna wanna do, pull that out. Okay, see how close we are? Let me get this freaking camera in here. Look how close we are, right? Uh, right there. That's how close we are. We just need to back it out about a half an inch this way. So we can be able to bolt uh, that in. So we're just gonna push, the, uh, push this specific screw back a little bit this way but what you need to know is you're going to need to bend this piece here so on the wall of the car you're gonna need to bend this, you take this? and we'll show you we have a, a freaking crowbar crowbar flat end on the back and you're gonna use you're gonna your use this right here and you basically just pull and bend it backwards you're not gonna break anything so yep. don't be scared you're not fucking anything up either no. You're just bending it back. Just you're bending like it back so that your arm can get all the way down yep. there. So, real quick, my arm's fucking hurt from doing it. But you literally need to get up in there. I want to see if I can get my phone in there. See if we... uh, don't lose it. I won't. I won't. See those holes? That's those are the holes we were talking about. Those are the holes that we're talking about. That you need to get your hands inside those holes to be able to bolt. The other side to, to get be able the to bolt to like up here a lot, a lot, um, a lot more closer. Yeah. So so you'll actually be going into the second hole here. So there's two holes, not the first hole. You want to put your be able to get your hand into the second hole, and then in the second hole is this range from the welded nut area to about like here, and that little circle. I'm telling you right now, guys. That little circle to get your hand in there and try to freaking bolt that shit on is extremely, extremely brutal and tough. So two people. It took two of us. Two of us. You need. There's no doing this by yourself. No. It's not. Not in this part. So, um, so basically, Julian was holding uh, the bolt down 
while I was trying to get the lock nut um, on the back side of that, and then we were be we were able to tighten it up. So this is the this is the cleaner side, I would say. Even though we still have to push it back, um, we got we only drilled one hole. Bang, bang, done. Well, coming to this side. This is the first side. So obviously, jimmying it up here. Um, we could have did stuff better, but this was our first try, first trial, you know what I mean? We didn't know, we knew that we had to bend that back, so we bent that back, but then we ran into that second hole in the there. Hole, the first hole or, is where we- where Or the we first hole is where we first screwed in. So, to, so you can see the first hole, but on the angle, you cannot get your fingers in there. You gotta go through the second hole. So, um, there's our first drill. Then our second drill, if we went a little bit over, we would have been good. Just a little bit, we would have been good. But um, we were right here, and it gets caught on that first hole on the edge. So you can't pet the socket fully on the lock nut. So you couldn't do it. So it didn't work out. So we drilled a third hole, and the third hole is money. Gucci, but it's still too close. Still too close to this. So if you were going to run a second harness... For like a passenger, uh, you got to make sure that it backs out a little bit. So here's the measurement. If you guys want to take that, like look at that. You got to back it out about a, another quarter of an inch. Just so you can get that full uh, round head for the uh, seat belt. But that's about it. Um, it sucked. We were out here freaking all day. We thought it was gonna, I thought it was going to be easy because we had all the hardware. We've been out here since five o'clock, six o'clock. It's like six thirty. Yeah. It's fucking midnight. Twelve, like, it's like almost twelve thirty. Yeah. Because of these fuckers. <laughs> Fuck these niggas. <laughs> Real shit. But yeah, so um, so it's definitely not universal for, for a three hundred ZX two plus two. Might be universal for other cars, but not a two plus two. <laughs> so people, please, please take our advice. Guys, if you guys order this bar, if you guys don't want to go through the fab, just know now it doesn't fit, so just fucking return it. <laughs> or you've got to go through this bullshit, so you, you go ahead and pick. I mean, don't get me wrong, it looks great. It looks freaking great. It looks good. Um, but yeah, it honestly... As for support, it does still get support. Oh, yeah. The bitch ain't going nowhere. Even if the, bar, even if the support bars were to fail, I don't, I don't know how they would fail, but even if they were to fail... The the B, uh, what are these bars called? They're just I don't even know support. They're just back, more support. Backseat yeah. fucking braces or something yeah. like that. Anyways, the backseat braces is what we're gonna call them. These backseat braces. These are gonna catch the bar anyways. So pretty much it still has support. Yeah. Well, it's not nothing's gonna happen. So that's what we did. Um, and then yeah, I kind of just mocked up. So I mean, those eye hooks, those are gonna be there. That's that's legit. All that's legit. Um, now we just gotta basically screw in the five point so the middle freaking Gucci part or fucking Gucci part, that one. We're gonna bolt that to the ground. And then uh, this one, I don't know if there's gonna be a hole right here next to the trainee. Yeah, we're uh, rip out the carpet. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a hole there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there'll I mean, be. The other one's already matched yeah. up. There's gotta be a hole there. So, um, but yeah, so we'll do that. And then, like I said, that hole over there, we're just gonna have to push this bar back. So we're gonna do that tomorrow. We're done. We're tired. We're freaking beat. It's fucking cold, goddamn. And it's cold. So, but yeah, so that's uh, what we've been working on, man. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed fucking Jimmy rigging this fucking harness bar in. But, yep, we're good. Oh. oh yeah, and we did some more deletes. We took the rest of this bitch off. The rest of the interior off. So more like a drift car each and every day. But thanks to these homies coming through, Razzle chilling, dazzle. razzle dazzle. And uh that's about it. Later.